Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to derive consumer's demand from a Cobb-Douglas utility function and we're just going to be using a general functional form for the Cobb-Douglas utility function. So here is our general functional form for Cobb-Douglas, good X and good Y. And here is the consumer's budget constraint, M is money income, price of good X times units of good X, plus the price of good Y times units of good Y. And we'll note here that the exponent here, A, is going to be between 0 and 1. Now let's solve for the consumer's demand for good X and good Y. We're going to start by getting the marginal utility of good X, taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good X. This exponent on the X term comes down in front, and then we're going to subtract 1 from that exponent. And that is our result. We'll get the marginal utility of good Y. Same idea here, take the partial derivative of the utility function, but this time with respect to good y. We're going to take the exponent on the y term, that comes down in front, and we're going to subtract 1 from that exponent. So we're going to have a 1 and then a minus 1, so the 1's cancel, and y will just be raised to the minus power of a. The utility maximizing condition. You're going to set the marginal rate of substitution equal to the ratio of the prices. The marginal rate of substitution is the marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility good y. So making our substitutions in on the left hand side, on top here I have the marginal utility good x, and in the denominator I have the marginal utility good y, and now we'll simplify some things. So I'm going to move the x all the x terms into the denominator and all the y terms into the numerator, so moving this y to the minus power of a into the numerator we have the following, and the minus a and a will just cancel. And then likewise, this x term, I'm going to move that into the denominator, and it becomes the following. And once again, with these two x terms here, the minus a and the a will cancel. And that will leave us with the following. And now just solving for y multiplying everything through by 1 minus a times x and then dividing everything through by a. And now we're going to plug this above equation into our budget constraint. So just rewriting that last equation, our budget constraint and making our substitution, plugging it into the budget constraint where we have y. We now replace that and the price of good y will cancel. You have that in the numerator and the denominator. Getting a common like denominator over here. And this will simplify very nicely to the following. If we solve that for x, we have our demand for good x. You'll notice here that A is the exponent on good X. X is a normal good. As M, as M increases, money income increases. The consumer will buy more good X. And also, as the price of good X increases, as this denominator term gets bigger, the consumer buys less of good X. And also, this is a nonlinear demand curve. And to get the demand for good y, I'm just going to take this result right here and plug it into this equation over here. So where I have x, I'm going to replace it by the following. So making that substitution. And some things here will cancel. The price of good x's will cancel. The a and a will cancel. And we're left with the following result, the demand for good y. Okay, I will stop here.